Hello, this is not a spring chicken. If you're looking at everything here, you're wondering what are we making? We're actually making a traditional coffee cake. Actually, it's a banana coffee cake. And well, as you can see, we needed to get rid of the bananas. <laughs> okay, it's about that time. But one of the things that people don't know is that coffee cake, this is new to me too, used to actually be made with coffee. So we're gonna show you how to make that today. But meanwhile, we're gonna bring old Kim on with comments on the headlines of today. In the Senate to increase the price of gas nationally Monday, and Obama expected to sign the bill. They, they have, for some reason, the Democrats have this weird idea that if you take the gas subsidy away from petroleum companies, they'll immediately drop the price of gas. No. What they're going to do is they're going to add the $4 billion that are being taken away from them for drilling and stuff to the cost of the gas. So immediately you're going to look, what one person said, you're going to look for a five cent a gallon Monday when the trading opens knowing that the Republicans, well, the usual Republicans are going to vote with the Democrats, the ones they can always count on spending money, like Scott Brown who they figure is not going to be reelected, and Olympia Snow who's not running for reelection, and Susan Collins who's got two more years mm -hmm. to help push the Democrats over the boundary they need to get 60 votes to pass it. And the Chinese would never get into a trade war with the U.S. because we owe them too much money. Okay. Um, the Chinese government could spend trillions of dollars fighting a war with the United States and expend millions of lives in a battle, or they can win the battle in a few months in a massive trade war by destroying our economy. So, who's, who, okay, start a trade war, destroy the economy, start a shooting war, kill millions of people and spend trillions of dollars. Let's see, they're going to lose 400 million if they start billions, if they start a trade war, two to three billion if they start a war. Gee, anybody with a brain knows that it's cheaper to start a trade war than it is a shooting war. And Santorum issue in this race is not the economy. Uh, because uh, Santorum said the economy will improve the instant Obama is gone. Said when Obama is gone, the economy will get better on its own. They said the bankruptcies will finally clear themselves out, the businesses that should fold will all fold, and all, the country will be stronger. So the economy isn't, a, the economy is not the issue, it is removing Obama from the presidency is the issue. And he is right in that area and everybody else is wrong. And Romney rivals pounce on etch a sketch comment. Oh God, it's the most stupid thing. They, they said he's not going to, they, I said, here was what they said, um, I guess Charles Krauthammer, when it said, well, it's going to go away. Three days later, it is not only not going away, but the Democrats are now handing out Etch-a-Sketches to people with George Romney on them. With George Romney? They got, they've had pictures of Romney printed on the Etch-a-Sketch so that people will know it's a Romney Etch-a-Sketch. They basically, Romney has committed, they said that, uh, Two out of every three Republican voters said that this thing is not going to go away now because when Romney's campaign manager said, you know, that, you know, that Romney will simply pivot from the right and go to the center, you know, just like he was on an etch a sketch, Ooh. and that basically pissed off everybody on the right, and the people on the center didn't trust him to begin with, so he, he's in bad shape now because he's totally when the Democrats are spending millions of dollars to hand out etch sketches to people with Romney on them, those will still be there during the election. So, <coughs> the same <coughs> thing, they, said, they got the idea from um, Genrich and Santorum, who at the events they've been going to have been spending their money buying all the etch sketches they could also get their hands on and handing them out, saying it's, the Ro it's, the, it's, it's how Romney handles everything. He just changes position, you know, worse than uh, Barack Obama. Well, I think the one that really benefits from this is the Edge Sketch Company. Well, no, they said Edge Sketch stock is going. They can't keep Edge Sketches on the shelf now. And Republicans light fire under Obama's gas prices tour. Oh God! I mean, they. they uh, okay, the decision was last night from the pollsters on his side. What the hell is that man doing? He's acting like people are. You know, the the people at the places he's going to are razzing him. Well, I've approved this, the Keystone Pipeline against the Republicans' opposition. Well, no, George Bush approved the Keystone Pipeline in that area, and it is now ready to get built. But, as they said, the President of the United States says they did find out. He said, the goddamn thing has no oil. 
And he said, with no oil, it doesn't work, Mr. President. He didn't. He ignored that. Then he goes to Ohio. You know, I'm going to bring solar and green energy to the state. Well, the last of the solar and green energy plants folded because they can't make any money off of it. He's there talking about something in a state with massive unemployment that basically is highly industrialized, and he's going to change the industrial mindset of those workers in Ohio to do uh, turning out green energy, and the only plant they had is folded. And Australian police capture nation's most wanted man. I know. Okay. Eventually, okay, here's the trick is, if you don't want to be captured, leave the country and nobody ever knows who you are. Mm -hmm. And the UN, UN unites on Syria and violence spills into Lebanon. Oh yeah, the UN is. You know what they've united to do? They're going. They have all united, and they're going to send Hillary to Syria, and Syria is going to go. Shame on you! And if they figure that her lecture and her pointing the finger at Assad will immediately scare him, that he will Ooh. surrender. Well, no. I mean, okay. First of all, it's a civil war where nobody's been killed. Oh well, this morning the announcement was: Syrian tanks roll into the city. Ten people are killed. And it's a civil war. Nobody's getting killed. And Australia plans a $288 million subsidy for General Motors. Yeah, in, uh, 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 but don't worry. Obama has approved a billion-dollar plant. They're going to give $288 million for General Motors to build a plant the United States is paying for in Australia to hire Australian workers to build cars for Australia and, and everywhere else of which do not come back to here because it's a different division and the United States makes no money off of it. And hazmat teams called to Joshua Tree National Park. They love this one because they had a... They, they had a People have done, okay, we've been, been talking We've about, been talking about this people, one. People, if this continues on, basically they discovered massive dumping all over the park. Everywhere they go, they go, okay, what happens is Joshua Tree National Park has areas where you can pull off the road and go driving into the main road and go driving into the park. People are going to the areas that are out of sight of people and throwing away all their trash and stuff, and a lot of it, you know, paint thinner, paint. That's disgusting. Uh, they have disposal places for people to go to. I know, to. but they've got to understand, I, 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 okay, most of the places in the area are, are, are small farms, small ranches. Instead of dumping the stuff on theirs, they're going over to the state park and dumping it there. It's, it's just disgusting. Yeah. Um, study internet access more important than sex and alcohol. And they love the guy. I listened to last night. They want to know who thought of that one. You know, yeah, because of, actually, Roger Goodell's wife is one of the people who works on Fox News, and she said, you know, I, I think I have Roger ask the football players if if internet access is more important than drinking and having sex. They, I, she said, I don't think it even rates in the top ten. Yeah, I, I have a feeling there had to be something with how they phrased that oh, question. God. I mean, it's you know, if they are most of the people. Okay, um, here's the thing: is while we have great coverage, internet coverage in the United States, most of the people don't have internet, which they don't seem to understand. And Brazil may shift jurisdiction of Chevron case. Well, because it looks like that they're wanting to get okay. The prosecutor is basically a, a rabid leftist and he wants to stop drilling of oil in the, uh, wants to stop the oil, uh, Soros oil company from doing business there. And the problem is what happens in those cases, remember this is a guy that basically is not a nice person in this country. Just think what he's like in a country that doesn't have laws to protect the people. They, so the prosecutor is now being bounced out, which means his oil people are going to be told, Shame on you, and then they're going to go back to drilling. Oh, they're using our oil rigs. Obama gave Obama gave Soros four billion dollars to take our oil rigs down there to deep sea drill. And U.S. soldier charged with 17 murders and Afghan killings. Yeah, and basically they're I mean they're just maligning him even more. I mean that okay, that it's popular to jump on somebody that is unpopular, but the problem is is that they said the guy had a severe brain injury from uh, from a. Uh, uh, IUD blowing up, and uh, he should never have been sent back to the battle. But the uh, it, what happened was they overrode the, the the army because he's a specialist. They overrode the decisions of the doctors and put him back, and that's what happens. This guy, the he will be tossed out, and he's going to be in a military hospital for a long time, treating what the Obama administration didn't allow to be treated. And a Monty bubbleism from the March of the Animal Kingdom. 
Okay. That you should never believe that someone won't do something when they have a history of doing exactly what you said they're not going to do. Okay. Well, yeah, we